good evening. This video here that I am going to make is about how I draw trees. So in the first place I make this video for the community section of the Patreon channel of uh, Smoothie77. I first asked John if it was okay for him that I am going to make this video because um, well here and there we see some people ask questions about how to draw trees and um, you can type some some words about it but it's not the same um, like if you see it done on paper so I asked John if it was okay that um, I'm gonna make or trying to make a small video about that issue um, certainly it's not that my trees are perfect it's far from um, there are enough videos that we can find on on, on YouTube with uh, people or artists who are um, a lot of times better than than myself in drawing trees First of all, um, <clears throat> I make this video just with my cell phone, so I hope <laughs> nobody will, will, will give me a call or send a message or so, so we, otherwise we're all going to hear that. And also my electric fan is blowing here in the back, because I'm here in my, um, in my small drawing studio, and um, it's pretty cold outside, so... And for thing or, or events like now, I have also a petrol stove, but um, I'm, I'm running out of fuel, so the electric fan is blowing now, the warm air. So, tree drawing. Um, it can be easy or it can be as hard as you want. Something, um, how should I say, something um basic like a tree is not f for the, eyes, the the way i see it is not so easy as some people may may think we can draw a tree and just color it and okay it's on the page or or it's on the paper but to give a tree a little bit more an outstanding form in a drawing can take some um, yeah can take pretty some work to do I study trees now for uh, a bit more than a year study them um, to draw them and when I am on the road for my job when I drive from one construction yard to another I always look at trees, always. Everywhere I go, I look at trees. Why? Because they are fascinating. I look how they grow, how they, how, how trees are in, how should I say, in the landscape, in the view that you have with other things. I look to the, to the trunk, the bark, the branches, how they grow, and the, even now, after after all these trees I I, I had put on paper, a, a simple form of a tree can sometimes be um, a challenge to put correct on a paper. Therefore, I always use reference material. I have in front of me a second screen that is connected to my to my laptop. And where I draw, I always uh, put on reference material. So um, now in front of me there is a form of an oak tree. Just to have a thought. It doesn't matter if it's not the same. That's not, that's not the point. It's just some reference material just to start. How, how big is um, the trunk? How do you going to get from the trunk to the branches? Um, how many branches? Okay, I do not count them all, but you have thick, small branches, 
you have these little tweaks it can be all be very challenging and certainly because i know i i walked that road um, a small year ago i st i only started drawing in 2020 yeah it's it's in september last year so um we are now almost december so that's a year and what is it three months or something <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> we all have a cold these days so first of all i always draw with the stettler mars lumograph pencils but it doesn't matter which which pencil pencil you draw you draw with the pencil that you are good with it's a personal choice um, if you like to draw with Durant or, or or whatever or Kohinoor or it doesn't matter it's not the pencil that's gonna make the tree it's your hand that's gonna make the tree and for me the pencils are the best are the Stettlers but like I said it doesn't matter I always start with an HB, an HB pencil, to um, construct the first, the first lines of the basic form of the tree. Okay, like I said before, this is recorded with my um, cell phone. It's very basic. I don't have anything else. I I I placed them up upon this lamp around here, so that's my drawing lamp, and I put out. I've put out the magnifying glass and put in <laughs> my cell phone with rubber bands. So I hope <laughs> this will hold. The video is also not edited or it's not going to be edited um, because I don't have programs or whatever. It's just basic. What you see is what I'm doing here right now. I, I'm not able to correct anything in the video or whatever. It can be that this is maybe a video of 20 minutes or, or a half an hour or so. If it's too long for, for some viewers or whatever, skip it or, or go to the end result or stop watching. It's just well if 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 one people if one person is helped with this, it's okay. So I don't make um, big things about it. Okay. So what I've said, I use to start the Stettler Mars Lumograph HB. To just to form a trunk. I'm now gonna take a look um, at my uh, picture in the screen in front of me and basically I'm gonna draw the same tree that I that I see here in front of me so nothing too fancy it's just well a video about tree drawing and it's true when you go outside wherever you go and you take a look at trees you're never gonna see the same tree twice okay you can see you can see three four five a million oaks that doesn't matter but each shape of the tree is different from another and that is why is it why it's so fascinating to draw trees? It's not that hard to draw trees in the basic forms. And it all it does not have to be so perfect. Because it's the is the in perfectness that we think that is perfect in nature isn't it it's the, the all the, the random forms that we can see that makes it perfect trees are special creatures I think um, yes I, I say creatures because They, um, 
it's quite special so you see here I am just take a small view to that screen in front of me there is nothing I have these lines here one two three four but that's just I know within that frame they will fit in the view of the of my cell phone that is now above here so <laughs> it's nothing more than that so to do my explanation this is more than enough um, if you go for example in a forest or, or whatever and you take a look at in front of you and you see all the trees if you are close to a tree then you can see of course a lot of detail about the shape of the bark which type of tree or whatever hmm? the further you see the tree the smaller they become and it's basically just this you're not going to see the fine details in the park impossible you're going to see a good form of course um, it's only in a misty forest where you see shapes that sometimes like we do and when, when you draw with the blending stick trees like this hmm? but in most cases you can see trees so if you want to draw more trees like a forest you're going to have to draw first the back trees and then come forward or have an idea where you want to go um, draw the main tree that you want and, and, and make sure it all fits in one what is also very important in, um, in a drawing if you want to um, draw a tree you need your background first there is no other way so you need your sky and um, you have to do it yeah, when you do it and you, you take your cotton ball huh? we all know it it's not now to, to draw background, it's not important now, but you see why. If you're first going to draw completely your tree with the shadings and all that stuff, and then you're going to rub in your, your background with that cotton ball, okay, you're going to mess up your tree. So it's important to first do your background with the clouds where you're going to think they're going to be. After drawing the tree, it's possible to work a little bit, but... I always draw my skies, um, my skies in at first time. It's very important. Normally, I also always draw on glass. So underneath, um, this is my, my my cutting mat. Normally, there is a, a thick glass, six millimeters on it. But I had some reflections of the glass in the in the camera view, so that was not a uh, a good idea so when you have draw in your background whatever it may be and you have shaped your tree in this in this case it's probably an oak tree if you're going for a um, birch tree that's uh, a trunk and bark that's uh, more white then you have to maybe you you have to start thinking about the a sort of negative drawing where you draw in your your, your sky with more um, a darker background and then you can with your with your eraser um, you can erase your tree out and work from there because to have white bark you need a darker background of course with graphite drawing otherwise it won't work when you paint or you work in color that's another thing but um, depending on the tree you have to think it over a little bit at first but in um, normal tree drawing the generic trees like there are videos on the net where they're speaking about generic trees it's 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 a tree no matter what you can just draw in so the trunk what i do first is i i make my i made my form 
and then I just start um, let us say that the light source is coming from here it's important you know that for shading your tree when the light source is coming from behind it's it's yeah you're gonna have here and here a little um, lighter tone than in the middle of the tree because the light is coming this way but let us say now the light is coming from here it's a choice that you you make in in in, in your drawing work or if you're drawing from a reference photo or whatever where the light is coming from it doesn't really matter in this one so what i do first here is i sh I, I i just lay some graphite down here not too much and in in the beginning it can all see some some what is he doing now you know but don't worry i just fill in a little bit at first then I take my blending stick, I'm going to clean him a little bit because he's pretty dark from um, previous work last night where I drew a very dark sky. And I take that a little bit here over. I fill in a little bit. The, 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 the fat branches I always do after the bark. So, my first work with the HB is done. Then I mostly go over to uh, 2B. I work my way up 2B, 4B, 6, 8 and 10B. <coughs> and with my 2B on the dark side of the tree, so this is the light side, because the light is coming from here, but on the dark side, I draw here the first darker line it also in the end this dark line will disappear in all the rest of the trunk because we don't see lines of course in our drawing and I give it here a small you see from this point I don't use a lot of my blending stick because I'm going to use here the grain of the paper and this piece is a leftover from I don't know I think it's it's not a cancer but okay that's this piece of the Steinbach that I buy on uh, the big leaves where I cut my forms off it's also 400 by uh, 500 by 400 millimeters um, a, a piece yeah well it was normally for another drawing it doesn't matter again now here I come to my 4B um, this is an oak tree that I'm going to draw so I have a small form now so what I'm going to do is give a little um, indication of bark in that trunk you see, I just draw some fine lines here. It doesn't matter. Not too hard, not too many. And that image. My lamp is moving a little bit when I draw here, so I hope the video is not wobbling. So, and it's nothing more than that. Then with the same 4B, I start to draw here. Can be hard, but I'm gonna go over that a little later. And then I'm gonna hold my pencil a little bit like this. And already we can you can see we use the, the grain of the paper however it's not a, it's a big grain taking
here what I want. So we already see, while we're using the grain of the paper, it's creating a mark. And with that 4B you can again put some accents um, or detail in your bark on the trunk here, some extra details. Later on we're going up to the, the big branches. So that accent or that detail can move on to here. I have I switch now to my 6B. And again, I make this one darker here. It's just layers. It's nothing more than that. It's layers. Of course, the bigger you draw, you draw your tree, the more work you're gonna have on your tree. That's that's normal. But a, a tree that is well drawn and work can be very nice, in my opinion. So you see here that I darken this side more than this side. Because the light source, <coughs> excuse me, because <coughs> and I'm going just you see, uh, I do not, it's a little bit everywhere. But you see already now that this trunk is really taking form. So what I have seen also and when you're going to explore the trees with the part at the bottom, so this is the bottom, it's always a little darker because there is moss growing on or, or grass. There's also, it's also the place with the most moisture, so the tree is always a little bit darker at the bottom. So, okay. <clears throat> and now with your 8 or 10B, doesn't matter, you can move in, you can put in again some darker tones and really if you if you're standing directly before, uh, in front of a tree uh, a half meter a meter two meters then you can you're gonna see real detail on the trunk of course huh? then you see I'm going to draw it here for uh, if you eh, then you can see the bark really eh? then you you if you want to draw a tree from that close you really need uh, you really need to go draw detail the fine pieces of bark if it is an oak tree hmm? With a with a little bit light in between, with the with, with the eraser, and you have to draw more detail. You have to know if you want, huh? From a meter or ten, so a normal distance to a tree, you don't see that anymore. You can see it's a it, it's an oak tree, and you can see that the bark is more rough than um, than other types of uh, smooth. Um, bark trees that difference you can see but that's all you can see so the further you are away from trees the more hmm, 
especially for drawing, the more generic the trees become. Of course, by shape of, of, um, of branches, you can recognize trees also. Hmm? Like oak trees are easy to recognize from distance. Um, pine trees are easy for recognizing. Um, there are some trees that you see from pretty, a pretty good distance what tree it is, but in drawing, you're not gonna see the details or the fine details because it's 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 almost not uh, not possible to draw. So if we have the bark here, I'm gonna a small bit the blending stick. So in this way, you can you can work up your way to the branches, but be in mind that. This branch also will have the, the, the almost the same um, detail of the of the of the bark here, but the small branches. So if you draw this further, hmm, what I'm trying to say is these 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 branches are not gonna have that same bark no um, small branches on trees are well pretty smooth I'm not gonna I, I'm not saying they are all smooth they are gonna be pretty smooth um, This is with my 4B. Okay, what is important also, and I've, uh, John has already mentioned that in one of his videos, a branch doesn't stop this, no, it branch is, it's like this, so. Hmm? So, leave your pencil flow out. Keep, keep it flowing. Hmm? So again, here, you're gonna have the darker side and your branch and this little twig here is gonna go darker. Yeah, I drew it a little bit too big here, but it doesn't matter. It's just for giving you all an, uh, a quick how to. Even if you draw a branch, in your opinion, a little bit wrong, if there is a wrong in branches, it doesn't matter. So. The same for the branch here. Mostly I do not draw my trees like this. I just draw one line. And the thick the thickness of the branch I draw in like I'm busy right now. This way I determine if if it's going to be a small branch or a fat branch or whatever. And okay, your background is um, drawn in, but if you erase it careful, and after that, you're going to go over it with your cotton ball. You do it easy. You can uh, you can repair. Uh, that's nothing. It's not a, a big drawing here that we do. Hmm? So and if trees, so you can add here, for example, a branch to make it more interesting. A 
an adhere branch, for example, on the trunk to make it more interesting. Okay, I always draw with high contrast, so people in the community who know my works, they know I um, I use contrast. So you can draw the same tree without contrast, without the, the hard contrast, and keep your lines uh, to a maximum of a two B, H B two B. You keep them light, and it's, it's all it's all okay. But as a matter of fact. I draw now this with the 4B and that's a, that's a light color for me. I'm just going to sharpen here this 4B. A little bit. So, let's go further a little bit here. Here I'm working directly with my 4B. into that branch um, I draw this one in those lines of course well then I don't have to erase too much hmm? but um, what is important in drawing branches and trunks outside of your the outlining of your branch or trunk is always um, how should I say it it's a line you don't draw um, a tree like this and this is your tree and we don't have this no there is no ghost line or whatever so uh, a, a trunk is a line and you lose that line in your tree in your trunk on the outside you always have your form hmm? that that misty background can be your background but it's not your tree so a trunk is a trunk and a, a branch is a branch. So that's also something important to remember. What we do, sometimes do, that is um, all, the, all the small branches, if you see them from a distance, and it's not always from a distance, just take a look at, um, and certainly it's now still the period for it, just take a look at some uh, trees where some leftover leaves are in the tree. And where, or where a lot of small branches are together, if you look at them from a small distance, it's like, it's like this. You know what I mean? So we have some branches. And we use, eh, like we use our blending stick to, to, it's like this at certain places. It's, it's a ways of, of blackness. From a distance so it's 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 kind of um how should i say very interesting it's always interesting to look at trees um in and it's always interesting in each uh, season it's just like in the summer okay trees are trees and i like trees but in the summer there's nothing hey, there's not too much to see about a tree because it's all hidden away in a pack of leaves. Every branch is, is covered with leaves. And of course, drawing leaves can be, can be challenging. I, I'll make a small example uh, in a minute. It's, but drawing a tree in autumn or in, um, in winter, like this, it's far more difficult it's far more difficult and this may seem well there are going to be people that say ah that's nothing uh, there's nothing um, 
difficult about it. Okay, it's possible. Well, of course, it's possible. But I practiced it. <coughs> Excuse me, for a pretty long time. And I draw trees almost every day. So we can add here a branch. And you see now what I mean by drawing just that line. And you can add your own small branches. And don't count your branches on a tree. Um, draw them in like you, like, oh, like you feel it. It doesn't matter. You can overdo them, maybe. I don't know. But then you have to draw really a lot of branches. Can you do too little? I don't know. There are trees with uh, a small amount of small branches or whatever. And I'm still busy with that, with that 4B. But, like I said, it doesn't matter too much now. What also affects my paper here, I'm in my drawing studio, so it's, a, it's really a garden house that I bought. People of, people of the community know where I'm talking about, because I made some video, uh, I made some posts with, uh, with, photo, with photos of it. Um, and when I'm in here, now it's very comfortable here, I think it's, uh, I don't know, 22 or 23 degrees or something. But uh, later this evening when, uh, when I go back in the house, okay, the heating is off here. It's freezing outside. Well, then it's freezing here too, of course. And it rained now also for a couple of days, so that moisture, well, one way or another, it comes in your paper, of course. It's not like my paper is wet, no, 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 everything is pretty much good to dry here, but weather conditions can affect your paper. And it will affect your drawing. But... Okay, it's nothing. Um, so I have to be careful with that also a little bit. So when you with branches here, you see where where the branch meets um, the trunk. If you don't darken it up here, it 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 gives an indication that the branch is coming from behind the tree. If it's from a, a little bit in front, like this. Or here, you can darken this a little bit here. And you give that indication where the branch is coming from. And also a good, a good idea to give your tree a little bit, oh, excuse me, a little, a little depth. Is let your, like this, let your branch cross another one. You know? Give it some perspective. Like this one, here. You see? You can stop here and draw here further, then it's behind it. Or you do it in the other way. Or, for example, uh, let us say here. This branch. It's one that's, that's coming down, no problem. But my pencil is not that sharp anymore. And you have to fade it out. For an, for an oak tree, when I look at, I have a big uh, walnut here in my garden. And there the branches are really like this at the end. It's a really rough form with thick branches at the tops. Because there are, 
the leaves that growing on a walnut are almost a small twig with a leaf on so they are very heavy leaves so that's that's another uh, uh, type of trees and then you can draw it without it fading out of the but okay as you see here we have a nice we have a nice winter oak tree and what you can do if you if you have um, made your um, your background with a more I, I, I'm not gonna say dark sky but more grayer sky with your with your needable eraser then you can dip out and you can um, make it like there is snow on the branches or so <coughs> excuse me so now what I'm gonna do with this one is leave here a small because our light was coming from here so it's probably a bit of a sunny day or whatever then you can give it some indication in there. maybe in the future we all have to talk about foreground because that's foreground is a is another thing that is that can be very difficult in drawing but I know a lot of people who are in photogra photography and it's also not easy there is all detail in the foreground in the tree or in the background but to make it all in one harmonic picture is very difficult is very difficult so with an oak tree you can uh, if you want you can uh, you can draw some heavy roots or so it doesn't matter and you can add your offense in the back or whatever if you draw barbed wire i had this comment uh, once from a farmer here uh, who is following me and uh, i was drawing my barbed wire in the tree like this now i draw those those small poles And he said, never put your barbed wire in a, in a tree, because for the tree, I know, I know, uh, Mr. Farmer, because if you put metal in an in, in, in oak, inside the oak, it's turning to blue. And that, that wood is not suitable for use afterwards. However, I rather see the tree standing there than to become a furniture or something but I did not say that <laughs> now I was talking a little bit about leaves so we all know um, the method of the scribbling hmm? A process on big trees that can take forever however um, um, leaves are a time-consuming process but the way most of the times when you have a branch For example, what I do, I always start, normally I start with an HB, but here I take a 2B and I hold my pencil down. I 
I'm not going to talk about forms and shapes and whatever. And again, and it's it's even possible even on a smooth paper with a smooth surface. It's just an example for leaves, so it's it's probably not this way on on the brines. I know that, but that doesn't matter. Again, you see here, only with the 2B that I am able to create a little bit of, um, of texture in that pack of leaves. So I step on to my 4B. I hope that image is not moving too much because I feel my drawing table wobbling a bit. And then you can go to your 6 or your 8. And you see here, you can draw your, your twig here. And you bring in that contrast again. Like I say, it's maybe only for those who like to draw with contrast. But you can do a lot with contrast. And certainly those dark contrasts, uh, the, dark, the darker contrasts that I'm using now. And at least you stop it. I don't go in with a blending stick, of course not. If you use using this in blending stick, then it's all messed up, of course. But you can see here. You can see depth in it. Of course, like all leaf drawing, even on this or this, it can be very time consuming. But hey, we are making... Uh, we are making a drawing as good as we as we want or as we can do it so it may take a little time in my opinion so that's an example how i do it um of course like this tree if you say oh okay no well, i like it i like a branch here okay no problem you can, you can draw a branch here. Now I have my 10B in my hand, so it doesn't matter, you know. Don't worry much, don't worry too much about branches and stuff. A branch too, too, too much, a branch or, or too little. No. Draw them in where you want. Make it your tree. The tree will be happy about it. You see? So, I hope this one will um, help the people a little bit about drawing trees. I can make maybe a video in the, in the I don't know when, about more detailed uh, bark, uh, pine tree or um, birch tree, oak tree and all that stuff. But I cannot do that in this video because otherwise it would be maybe take an hour or so. Hmm? So if there are questions, well, ask them. I'll be happy to um, to answer you. And for those who are watching, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.